Chelsea got in the weekend's clash with Saints on the back of defeats to Juve and Man City. For more on Chelsea, we're now joined by Sam. Sam, what's happening? Good morning. Yeah, let's start by talking about Timo Werner. Sammy Mottbell writes in the mail this morning that he's going to consider his Chelsea future in the summer if he cannot regain a regular place in Thomas Tuchel's team. He's made just two starts this season. And interestingly, on Wednesday, they were trading Juve for a large part of the game. Werner on the bench did not come off and his peripheral role is understood well, to be causing for, well, the forward... Well, you're looking for a goal, Sam. You and think you're 50 poor, million pounds. that's striker. the problem with Timo. Mm, mm. You know, um, look, he's, a barn door at the he struggled last <laughs> season, didn't he? Romero Lukaku, who's come in this season, has been yeah. the number one striker. But oh, his record at Leipzig was impressive. He was there for four years, 95 goals in four seasons, not bad numbers. Why don't you think it's, it's well, worked out we, for Werner? Well, well, you, you can never tell. You move to other clubs and it looks a perfect move and it doesn't happen. You don't go off to a good start. People are on your back. Now, I'm not saying Chelsea fans have been on his back. I think they've given him a good chance. But the times that he's been cleaned through are glorious chances in decent games mm. to win it or get them back they in it and he's it, failed yeah. to score. Yeah. And eventually, people's patience runs thin. What's, you've you've played in different leagues around the world, Al. How tough can that be I've for any, a player having to adapt to well, new leagues you know, and new styles? I went to Tottenham Man United. Tottenham, I went with 12 games to go, scored six. But I knew, I thought, something's not right here. But the people were saying, one every two, great. Mm. Next season never happened for me really. Mm. Went to United, and if you look at many how many ninety minute games I played and scored, it was still good. But you, it's got to be better than good at Man United. It's got to be you know it's got to be four out of five games. Yeah. Thirty You're thirty a season game. really isn't it? It's always expectation, isn't it? Yeah. When you when you come from um, obviously Germany, you had a great record, but it, you know it's a tough league, the Premier League. Mm. Maybe you could argue defense. Some of the defenses are better. Um, so he's just struggled and, and I think it's a confidence game isn't it oh, when you're a striker you know, without a doubt when you, when you suddenly you know things ain't going well for you your belief goes a little bit and you know you pass it when you should be shooting and, and yeah. vice versa you, you, you talk to yourself a lot and you say hold on a minute right let's go back to basics get the ball hold it up give it off mm -hmm. That was never my strength. My strength was getting in behind or getting down the side of defenders. And suddenly you start doing things which are not natural to you. So you're not playing your natural game. To a fellow, because of lack of to a fellow striker, Al, if he's in a similar position coming into the season where he's not playing much football, does he need to just leave, go somewhere else, new club, new start, depends, and, and play it depends football? Depends what type of guy he is. Does he does he feel within himself that no, I'll bide my time, I'll get back in the side, mm. I'll score goals, I've got a contract there, it works both ways. I'm not just going to sit on the bench and take my money, but at the same time, no, I I want to make a success of this. Mm. Or he might say. I'm wasting my time here. I've had my chance. It's not going to happen. Let me go. Let me go. Let me move on. Mm. Any similar players at Arsenal that came over with a big reputation, but just uh, couldn't quite adapt to the league, the physicality, the speed of the Premier League that, 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 you, that you remember, right? Well, I'm, I'm thinking about strikers. I mean, um, we had Davor Suka who played for, for Arsenal but he was coming to probably more the end of his cool. career he was a player he was a player he was a player and a great, great goal scorer great guy as well he loved London he's like oh <laughs> mate this is fantastic I love casinos and this that whatever <laughs> he ended up going to West Ham but he he was he knew that he, he's going to play a part off the bench because we had some really top class strikers so he knew that mm. another player probably would have been Francis Jeffers Maybe yeah. it, for me, it was the wrong move for him to come to Marcel because he had too many good strikers in front of him and he wanted to play on a regular basis, but he wasn't ever going to play on a regular basis. And he probably had options to go elsewhere. I think when I when I had a chat with him, he could have gone Newcastle and they they signed Craig Bellamy instead mm. of Francis Jeffers. Now, Francis Jeffers was their first pick. So if he had gone to Newcastle, he could have been, yeah. you know, got more game time, he, you know, Suddenly he's playing on a regular basis, which is great for players. So there's certain times in careers that people make the wrong decisions. And I probably that was oh, one. Look, um, imagine Shearer had gone to Man United. What would Man United maybe have done? Mm. Do you Absolutely, know what I mean? yeah. What might and have obviously, done? Sir Alex Ferguson was desperate for, to get Alan Shearer, wasn't he? At so it's, it's you know it is strange. You, you know, you, there's some great players have moved, and for some reason you think, I can't believe that's not mm. worked, you know? Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.